Welcome to Business Central 2020 Release Wave 1. Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central is a complete business management application that is designed and optimized for small and medium-sized businesses. We've put a lot of effort into 2020 Release Wave 1. Much of our work was focused on the under the hood stuff, but we've also added a bunch of great new capabilities for you to enjoy. This video highlights just some of what we've delivered in this release. To see the full list and descriptions of the new capabilities, visit our release plan. We've done a lot to improve the way people use Business Central. We've added new ways to engage with our modern clients so that you can get your work done more quickly. We've built additional tools for administrators and partners to make it easier to keep things running smoothly. Based largely on feedback from our community, we've made some existing features even better. Let's dive right in, starting with the improvements to our powerful modern client. Find features faster in the Role Explorer. Role Explorer shows the features that are available on role centers in simple, organized lists, offering a great way to get an overview of what's available. We've made the Role Explorer searchable, so you can quickly find the capability you're looking for by typing its name in the Find field. Enable non-interactive printing with advanced printer selections. On the Printer Management page, you define the printers that are available to users in their online environment. Specify the default printer for yourself or for all users. On the Printer Selections page, you can also configure printers to use for specific reports for yourself and all users. For example, this is useful when you want to send customer order summaries to the printer that your business manager uses or a list of sales to the printer in the front office. Import profiles and user interface customizations for fast and consistent role tailoring. We've given administrators and consultants an enriched, no-code toolset for role tailoring. Export and import configuration packages for profiles and their UI customizations to create backup copies of custom profiles, replicate profiles across environments, or safely explore possibilities before you import changes to production. Show or hide parts on a page. When business users, power users, and consultants personalize pages, they can choose to restore a hidden part, such as a fact box on a sales document. Additionally, developers can add, but hide, secondary content on a page, giving customers a clean, simple start with the option to unhide content when they're ready for it. Go to related records from list pages to do quick investigations. For example, in the list of sales invoices, to see details about a customer, you can click the customer number, and if you want to see more details, you can open the customer card straight from the invoice. Improve pages that have multiple parts. Optimized layouts give users better ways to view their data and quickly make decisions and act. For example, We've put parts on the bank reconciliation page side by side to make it easier to cross-reference lines. Bookmark reports to keep information at your fingertips. Sometimes we wear a lot of hats, especially in small businesses, and we need fast access to information that isn't already available on our role center. Bookmarking reports lets us link to them from our preferred role center and saves us clicks the next time we need the information. Work with categorized information more easily. Some data is best represented in a hierarchy. It's easy to explore a list displayed in a tree structure by expanding and collapsing groups or using the buttons to expand or collapse everything. Enter and work with data more easily. In editable lists, use the arrow keys to go to cells in a row. The F2 key toggles between selecting the entire value of a field and placing the pointer at the end of the value so that you can quickly replace the value or add to it. Filter data and create new ways to view it. As the business grows, so does data in the database, making it more challenging to do quick analyses or even just find records. To help, we've taken filters and views to the next level. When you filter using expressions, such as date ranges or filter tokens, you can toggle the filter field to display either the expression or the corresponding value. On list pages, 
Saving the URL as a favorite also saves the view, so the information displays the same way the next time you view it. You can also help out your colleagues by sharing your view with them. Use resources in purchase documents. Many businesses outsource or hire external resources on a temporary basis, such as for a project or job. Purchase documents, such as orders, invoices, and credit memos, now offer a resource line type, letting you track and process resource use. Like other line types, you can correct and copy purchase documents with resource lines and use extended text. Send the right documents to the right contacts. Businesses create and send different sets of documents to different types of customer and vendor contacts, such as accountants, purchasers, and warehouse workers. Save time by setting up specific contacts to use with specific documents. For example, send customer statements to accountant contacts, sales orders to customer purchasers, and purchase orders to vendor salespeople or account managers. Receive more goods than you ordered. When a vendor ships extra items, sometimes it's less expensive to just keep them. On the Over Receipt Codes page, you specify the percentage to allow for over receipts and whether to require approval. As long as the over receipt doesn't exceed the percentage, you can update the quantity to receive value on purchase orders. A notification pops up to help prevent accidental over receipts. Undo shipment or receipt lines for non-item types. Sales shipments and purchase receipts often have lines that contain non-items, such as service work, shipping agent fees, or other charges. If you spot a mistake, use the undo shipment and undo receipt lines to correct or undo non-item lines on sales shipments and purchase receipts. Integrate Business Central with Common Data Service to synchronize data with other business applications. Common Data Service makes it easier to extend Business Central by integrating with other Dynamics 365 business applications, such as Dynamics 365 Sales, or even an app that you build on top of Business Central. Use the CDS Connection Setup Guide to quickly connect to Common Data Service and install and configure the Business Central CDS-based solution. The solution supports extensions by providing a set of default entities in the Common Data Service database that other business apps can connect to and synchronize data. Get telemetry in Microsoft Azure Application Insights to keep an eye on whether the app you built on top of Business Central is running smoothly for your customers. Set up your environments in the Business Central Admin Center to send telemetry to Application Insights and the Azure service will gather telemetry data that you can analyze. In this release, we're emitting data about sign-in attempts and the performance and use of web service requests and reports. To help you get going, we're providing guidance and sample queries for free on our BC Tech repository on GitHub. For example, these are the queries you can use to monitor and troubleshoot sign-in attempts. You can use these in Power BI reports and Azure Dashboard. These are great starting points for performance analyses, and we expect to add more telemetry in future updates. Use AL interfaces for more independent code. An interface defines the capabilities that are available for an object, and allow implementations to differ if they comply. Interfaces reduce dependency on implementation details, make it easier to reuse code, and support a polymorphic way of calling object methods, for example, when substituting business logic. Use the new interface object to declare an interface name along with its methods and apply the implements keyword along with the interface names on objects that implement the interface methods. The compiler checks whether implementations adhere to the assigned interfaces. Learn about tuning performance in Business Central. Explore the new performance tuning guide at aka.ms forward slash BC performance. We've provided a rich set of information, including two videos, that functional consultants, developers, and system administrators can use to make their business central environment go even faster. Keep performance optimized by viewing the number of records and sizes of data in tables. When analyzing performance, a good place to start is by looking at how data is distributed across tables. Administrators can quickly view this information on the table information page. For example, 
The Tenant Media table has 82 records and fills up almost 3 megabytes of storage, and the average record size is 35 kilobytes. Spot database locking issues and cancel sessions in the Tenant Admin Center to unblock users. When a process is locking data, such as a report that is taking too long to run, it might prevent other users from doing their work. Administrators can use the database locks page to locate locking issues. We don't have any issues now, so the page is blank. Once a blocking session is identified though, admins can go to the Tenant Admin Center and cancel one or more sessions to free up resources. Manage permissions with improved insight into conflicts between licenses and permission sets. Permission sets are often complex. Sometimes conflicts arise between what the license and permission sets allow. System administrators can use the Show Permission Conflicts Overview page to identify where conflicts are and then investigate them on the Show Permission Conflicts page. Synchronize user information. The people who use Business Central must be created as users in the Microsoft 365 admin portal. Historically, that's meant that you need to manually set up users in the portal and then in Business Central. To streamline that process, use the Update Users from Office 365 Assisted Setup Guide to copy the latest user information to Business Central. That's quite a lot of great stuff, but this video is just a teaser. If you want to see all the new capabilities, you can learn more by reviewing our release plan. On a final note, the Business Central Ideas site continues to be a goldmine for application enhancement suggestions from our community. If you think of something you want to add to Business Central, visit aka.ms forward slash bcideas and share your thoughts with us.